Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Morning Prayer for Thursday, March the 3rd. It's the Thursday after Ash Wednesday and week two in the Salt Cycle. And please join me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Do not fret because of the wicked and do not envy the workers of iniquity. Psalm 37. And please recite it with me. Do not fret because of the wicked, and do not envy the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down and wither like the grass of the field. Trust in God and do good, and you will dwell in the land and be fed. Delight yourself in the Most High, and God shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit yourself to the Most High, trust and God shall act. God shall bring forth your righteousness like the light and your judgment like the noonday sun. Rest in the Most High and wait patiently. Fret not when the wicked prosper, who plot to bring down the needy and the poor. Cease your anger and forsake your rage. Do not fret, for it leads to evil, for the wicked shall perish, but those that wait on the Most High shall inherit the earth. For soon the wicked shall have gone, you cannot see their homes, because they are no more. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and enjoy abundance of peace. The wicked shall plot against the just, and gnash on them with their teeth. The Most High shall laugh at the wicked, for God sees that their day is coming. The wicked have drawn their sword, and have bent their bow, to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay the upright. But their swords shall pierce their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken. What little the righteous have is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Most High upholds the righteous. Amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Do not fret because of the wicked, and do not envy the workers of iniquity. Amen. The Prophet Habakkuk, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. O Most High, I have heard of your renown, and I stand in awe, O Most High, of your work. In our own time, revive it. In our own time, make it known. In wrath may you remember mercy. God came from Taman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise. The brightness was like the sun. Rays came forth from his hand, where his power lay hidden. Before him went pestilence, and plague followed close behind. He stopped and shook the earth. He looked, and he made the nations tremble. The eternal mountains were shattered along his ancient pathways. The everlasting hills sank low. I saw the tents of Kushan under affliction. The tent curtains of the land of Midian trembled. Was your wrath against the rivers, O Most High? Or your anger against the rivers? Or your rage against the sea? When you drove your horses, your chariots to victory? You brandished your naked bow and sated were the arrows at your command. You split the earth with rivers. The mountains saw you and withered. A torrent of water swept by. The deep gave forth its voice, and the sun raised high its hands. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church and the world for the mission of the Church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, for Brother Joe, our community servant, and all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the Church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, for the hungry and the thirsty, and for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. 
for Joe our President, for Doug our Governor, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God who has begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. For those who've died, especially Louise, Donna, Howard, Brother Joseph Benedict, Brother Ramon Ivan, Brother John William David, and Marjorie. For all who serve in harm's way, for the victims of terrorism and violence, and for the resolve of the nations to address the climate change uh, crises. For the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering from dementia. For those struggling with addiction, especially Bill, strengthen their resolve and restore to them the assurance of your unfailing mercy. For the mercy of God community, Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the mercy of God associates. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lead us in your paths, O God, and grant that we may ever find our delight in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. 